just backtracking slightly to the social media stuff, it's yeah. like, I, I see so many people like post every day where they're like, man, found out I had another Trump supporter, defriended him, you know, like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, you also have to be careful to not curate your own feed too much because then you start seeing your own version of reality yeah. as being wow. the only thing. Yeah. Like honestly, yeah. like, you know, there's these websites that your stupid friend will post. It's like conservativefireblaze.com or whatever. <laughs> and it's like something. But then it's like if you're posting everything from US uncut, like that's kind of the same thing too. Like you mm. need to you need to be engaging with people in a real way. So yeah. to me it's like if you want to engage offline, it's like a perfect way to do it is Facebook. Because Facebook is the synergy of online and offline. We've seen it in so many ways. So it's like, whoa, this person who's posting this Trump thing, this per person who's saying this hateful thing about any group, I know them and I can uh -huh. actually talk to them. Uh -huh. So why can't I just take them out for a cup of coffee instead of defriending them and then bragging about it to like all my like nerd friends? Like what's the point mm -hmm. of that? Like, that, doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't get anything done. So I think we have like a really cool opportunity to make social networking actually social. Yeah. And a lot of people are missing out on that.